Hey everyone, it is day 20 of Vlogmas. Hope you guys had a great weekend. The countdown to Christmas is officially here. At least for me it is. It is Monday. I've already gotten quite a few things done this morning. It is almost two o'clock already. I had to go do another curbside pickup for groceries. I went to more of a special grocery store that had a few things that we need for our Christmas Eve meal and just some really nice chestnuts and seafood and a whole bunch of stuff that I needed to finish off for groceries. So that is all done. I also ran in because I forgot to put something on my list, but it was a good thing because I actually found a couple of other last minute gift items in there and I think my Christmas list is all checked off. I'm pretty sure I'm done everyone, which is a really nice feeling, but now I'm having that feeling of pulling everything out, taking a little inventory and getting my wrapping going. I know I still have time, but I feel like when there are things to do, I just can't let them sit. I need to get them done. I've had so many nice comments about trying to take it easy and uh, not doing too much, but I appreciate that. But I think I'm really gonna focus on the things that are most important to me and my family. I actually feel like one of the reasons I've been a little more tired this year is all of the filming I've been doing and editing and vlogmas. I don't know why it feels a little bit different this year, probably because we're not going out and it's kind of hard to find things to film inside the home again this year, but I'm doing my best. My videos might be a little shorter this week because I really wanna focus on my family and my home and just enjoying the holidays. So I'm on a mission this week to get all of the things done that I like to do in the last few days before the holidays. Uh, we also ran out to the mall, just the boys and me went. We had another exchange to do. We got all of that done. We got a few extra things for Camden for Christmas. So we did really good today. I'm feeling like I accomplished a lot. I'm just in my studio right now, packing up a few orders because I want to get them out today. Glenn is off work today and doing a few things himself, but I think he's going to drop off packages for me. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to any baking today or any of my usual Monday stuff like cleaning the house, but I think I am just catching up and catching my breath a little bit. So I feel really good that my shopping is pretty much done, my lists are all made, and I might squeeze in one thing in the kitchen today to bake. It's not actually baking, it's the sponge toffee or the honeycomb, and you don't actually bake it. It's just on the stovetop, so I might be able to do that, get some of that mess out of the way before I have my cleaning day tomorrow. I don't know if you guys are the same, but I can't really enjoy any holiday if my house isn't clean, the laundry isn't done and put away, and sheets aren't changed either. So this week I'm on a mission to change everybody's bed, just refresh the house a little bit so that I can sit and enjoy Christmas.
I started dinner a little bit early tonight. We are having French onion soup, which sounds and looks fancy, but it's really not. I have a super simple recipe from my mom. And I threw in a small pan of chicken wings for the boys that I just put olive oil, salt, and lemon pepper seasoning on because they really like those. And I also started the sponge toffee or the honeycomb recipe for my Christmas baking. So everything is just kind of finishing up, sitting on the stove, waiting for us to be ready to eat. And I decided to sit down for a minute and I thought I would share this new cookbook that I got a week or two ago because I was just flipping through it and I've flipped through it a few times. I really like it. It's called My New Table, Everyday Inspiration for Eating and Living. It's by Trish Magwood. If you are Canadian, you may be familiar with Trish Magwood. She used to have a cooking show. I think it was on the Food Network or maybe it was on the Women's Network. I'm not too sure. She, I think it might have been called Dish. She had um, kind of like a cooking studio in Toronto and... Um, I don't think she's put out a book for a little while. I do have one of her other books and I really enjoy it. So when I saw that she had a new book, I was very intrigued. It's quite beautiful. I really like that at the beginning of this book, she has quite a few pictures of her life. Um, I believe it's at a cottage. They have a family cottage in Ontario and a Toronto home. And I think she recently redid her kitchen. And so she just talks a little bit about her home, what's important to her. There's some beautiful pictures and um, I love having a little bit of that in a cookbook. I won't flip through absolutely everything. It is filled with beautiful photos and recipes. I didn't really mark anything off in the appetizers um, and salads section just yet, but her soup section looks really, really good. I've marked off quite a few. I've never made a carrot soup and this one looks simple and very yummy. I also marked off this hearty corn chowder and a lot of the recipes in here, um, especially in the vegetable section, I think they're really great if you're from Ontario, which is the province I live in, because you can tell she really uses um, the produce that's available on, in Ontario or seasonally in the summers when she's at her cottage. And um, nothing in this book seems difficult to source or to find. I just feel like it's a lot of ingredients that are local to me, which I love. This um, simple sweet potato soup looked really good too. I've never made sweet potato soup. And I think the winner, like the huge standout in this book is the vegetable section. I started marking off pages and then I had to stop because they all looked so good. So I marked off the grilled snap peas, asparagus and green onions. Um, I marked off these roasted sesame carrots and then I also really like the look of these honey roasted carrots. Um, chili, garlic chard. I love Swiss chard. Broccolini. Um, secret barbecue chard broccoli. These all look really, really delicious. Potato and green tomato gratin. I mean, it just goes on and on. One of my favorite vegetables ever is eggplant and I hardly ever roast it. I usually just grill it. So I'm definitely going to try that. But all of these look so delicious. The rest of the book is filled with other great recipes. Um, there are quite a few in the main or meat section. So lots of good stuff, even just this really simple lemon spaghetti. I think she's inspired by Taroni's, which if you've ever eaten in Toronto, I'm sure you know Taroni's. So lots and lots of 
pretty simple recipes and um, quite a variety of things. I also really love that she has, well, I love the tacos, but there was something about burgers in here that I really liked. I think it might be here, Friday night burgers. I love the idea of having burgers once a week. Um, we all love them here. I mean, that looks delicious. Everything looks great. I also noticed in quite a few of the pictures, um, she's got the same color nail polish as I do. It's like a dark, dark, dark blue. Anyways, I really like her. Her recipes look wonderful. And I think this is a really nice book. Um, I definitely want to try making this homemade chocolate pudding and this chocolate chip zucchini loaf, which looks a little different than the one I usually make. And one of my favorite things in the summertime is rhubarb. And this looked incredible. Strawberry rhubarb fool. So I thought I would give you guys a little flip through because I love seeing inside of a new cookbook. But if you are from Ontario or you're Canadian, or even if you're not, and these vegetables and things look local to you, I think it is a wonderful, really inspiring book.